my name is Aaron. I'm one of the sailors here at Jamestown Settlements Recreated Ships. And I want to talk to you a little bit about netting. Now, one type of netting that sailors probably use at a time period, it looks like this, and that would be a um, fishing net. And so you could use this net to, to catch fish. When English were coming through the Caribbean, um, they write about fishing in the Caribbean. They, they're probably um, a good chance of using nets very similar to this one right here. But there's another type of netting that's described in the time period. Henry Mainwaring, uh, who wrote about sailing in the early 1600s and his Seaman's Dictionary, he describes a type of netting that looked more like this right here. And this is more of an anti-boarding netting. You'll notice first thing, this is a lot more substantial than that fishing netting. Uh, Mainwaring says it's created using um, small ropes and the yarns of those ropes are used to seize those lines together. And we also see this type of netting in use on the Mary Rose, an English warship that sunk in the 1540s. If you look at contemporary pictures from the time period of the Mary Rose, you can see the anti-boarding netting that stretches all over top of the ship. It would have been made harder for people to get on board, for people to board that ship. Um, and when the Mary Rose was brought up and the artifacts found on board who were studied, they found ex surviving examples of that anti-boarding netting. But Main Wang also mentions using this netting with netting sails. So you can imagine you already have this netting on board the ship. Um, it can fit on the waist of the ship between the shrouds. Um, sometimes even you'll see like on the Mary Rose pictures, the netting going all the way over the top. So Main Wang mentions they can attach netting sails to this netting. Now just imagine an old sail um, that could be attached right onto the netting and that supports the, um, the that old sail, that netting sail as it is providing shade and protection for the deck and for the crew. Mainwaring wrote that this type of uh, netting sail would be used in extreme sunshine and then also in foul weather, so um, protecting you from the sun and from the rain. So to make this style of netting, you first have to understand how the uh, line is created. So this line or rope is made up of three different strands and you notice you can unlay those strands um, into three separate pieces. Now each one of those strands is actually made up of several different yarns. So you can see how um, the yarns are twisted together and to make a strand. And then each one of these yarns is actually made up of uh, fibers that are twisted together into those yarns. Um, so if I take just a couple of these yarns here, I can actually use it to create the seizing that is going to give my net its structure. So first thing, you take the yarns, you fold them in half, you wrap it around two of the lines, right where you want your seizing to go, and pass it through itself. And pull that nice and tight and snug, right where you want to start your seizing. Then I'll take the yarns and wrap them around the two pieces of line, just several passes, and try to do this consistent so they all, they all look the same. Now what I want to do is take my two ends of the yarn and pass them different directions. So I'm going to take one, keep going around. The other one I'm going to pass between the two lines. The other one will come up the other way. Now this is going to begin my frapping turns. So I take these two yarns here and pass them around perpendicular to the previous turns that I had. And I'm going to pull that nice and tight so it's nice and snug. And now on this end here, I will just finish this off using a simple reef knot or square knot. And now this seizing is nice and secure. It has a, you can see how this has created the structure of the net just by doing this same seizing process over and over and over again. So this style of netting is probably a little bit more labor intensive than your simple fishing net, um, but it does give you a really strong structure to your net, which is really useful if you're going to be relying on this to keep people from coming on board your ship. Thanks for watching our video today on netting. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please, if you're out sailing and you see a bunch of pirates on the horizon, don't rely on netting. Call the Coast Guard.